Friends, here we are, the last day of 2020. Now, there may be some folks somewhere that are grieving the end of this year, but I don't know any of them. On top of COVID, we've had a contentious election. We've had civil unrest. We've had the explosion in Nashville. And I don't know anybody that hasn't had family or friends or both whose lives have ended this year. So it's been rough. And every year has its challenges. But in a normal year, we can turn to family and friends for support and encouragement. But in a year like this, uh, that added strengthening has not really been as available as normal, and in some cases not available at all. Now, many of us have said during the year, I just wish this time could be over. But then there's always the comeback, well, you're just wishing your life away. And that's true. But what if we could wish a bad time away and have it be gone and be in a better time, but then save that time we wished away and later on bring it back out and start living it again in a time when we would enjoy it more. Well, uh, that's kind of the idea behind this rhyme I'm going to say f uh, for you from Ring Around the Moon. And this is just called simply Time. Mommy Goose says, Time flies, time drags. If only we could store it in bags. Stuff some in to make it past and twist the top to make it last. Then tear time open, letting it flow to bring relief when hours run low. That would be something. Now let me show you how Minnie Adkins interpreted that with her carvings here. I have to say that for me this is probably my favorite page in the whole book. And if you notice about Minnie's carvings, they're almost always set to 1150. That's either 10 minutes to noon or 10 minutes to midnight. I'm not sure which, although I suspect it may be the latter. And I'm going to show you another one of her clocks from this new book we're working on. This is kind of a scary one. This is the one whose hands are reaching out and chasing Harley Creech in his dream. But that would be nice if we could just put bad times in a time-saving account and then check them out later and, and relive them. That's not how it is, but that doesn't keep us from imagining it. It also doesn't keep us from imagining that on December 31st, we can make some resolutions and on the next day, we'll be a new and different person forever. Well, Mommy Goose has something to say about that too. In fact, she has a rhyme called December 31st, December 31st, and the speaker in this rhyme is not a person, it's not a mammal, it's not even a bird, it's an insect, it's a cricket, a creature that's not known for over-preparing for the future. December 31st goes this way, the cricket says, my resolution for the coming year keep the ones I made before. Well, some people make those resolutions and hope to be changed for the rest of their lives. And if it works for them, more power to them. But as for myself, by old Christmas, which is January 6th for any non-Appalachians that are watching, my resolutions are starting to flicker and dim like an old light bulb. But after all that, I will make one resolution for the coming year, and that is to be more grateful. We know in a time like this that the next day, sometimes not even the next hour, is guaranteed. So I just want to say that I appreciate all the support and encouragement and kind words over the year, and I hope that 2021 is a time of healing and growth and fulfillment for all of us. So early 
Happy New Year. Bye-bye.